I praise the Lord. I was actually um, having some time. Nikiangalia nakala ya serikali kuhusu mkanisa. And uh, I was a bit interested kuona wameandika vitu gani. And it's coming out clear that uh, the government, or I call them the regime, uh, they are out to muzzle prophecies and out to muzzle prophets. If they muzzle false prophets, I have no problem. <laughs> you can muzzle them. If they want to muzzle false prophecies, that one also is just fine. But someone tell the government and pass this one to root straight, plus those is fake uh, task force. The ministry of Jesus was never stopped. Ask Herod. And they may go and find out from Caesar. They tried Jesus. They never succeeded. And tell Captain Ruto this way. That whatsoever is born of God. Overcome the world. I know that you are trying to find a way. I want Ruto to see you. NSI do your job. Cut the clip and what I'm saying. Take it to him. You had your task force and they had time to do their job. Well, the things that you paid millions for are useless. I've checked it myself. And I pity root of the people you pick. Always you pick on wrong people. Always you fall on rejects. You always fall on person that are just out for mandazi and biscuit. Mark, Karaoke, uh, Eli Rob, uh, plus Judy Diongo, that entire group plus Mutava Musimi. You have no fire. And uh, history will judge you. And uh, the history will judge you. Because that reports the way it is. And I'm very prophetic now. The report is skewed and well intended to victimize the true prophet of God. Here I am. We shall preach online. Someone tell Ruto. We can preach from America. We can preach from Europe. We preach from everywhere. And Ruto, you are going the direction of Kagame uh, in Rwanda. He is actually president for life. Ruto, you won't live to see this statement of U.S. or that task force report implemented. It will never see the light of the day. I Onyango Marco Ching, prophet of the Most High God. I Kanyagia that report in the realm of the spirit. You shall go in circles. It will never see the light of the day. When the Mufunga Himalayas, Mufunga Pacific, when the Mount Kenya, Kilimanjaro, Mameru, whether you fast from state house, that report will never be implemented. I told Kenyans, Kwamba, there will not be revival during Ruto. That Ruto will be the greatest impediment to revival. That report actually vindicates me and confirms what I told you. You have a king, you call him a president that is now out, helped by a session of church clergy to completely scatter the church. Controlling church in Kenya, impossible. Someone tell Ruto that uh, there is a storm. I told you about Mount Kenya. You thought I was just a, a old aired prophet. Now you've confirmed that I'm a prophet of God for sure. Everything I've said about you, Ruto, and what will happen. Has it now happened? Someone make Ruto busy by this, cut it and send it to him. Whether by TikTok or by YouTube or WhatsApp, wherever you want to hear it from. And I tell Ruto, stop your games. And stop your enmity. God is your greatest enemy. He shall finish you. When it comes to the true prophets of God, we don't joke and we don't play. You, have, you, you people have circumvented, tried and find uh, how messages on YouTube, whether prophecies uh, will be 
will be vetted and uh, grounds for switching off, grounds for arresting, grounds for closing ministries. You could not close Shakahola and uh, those fake prophets. Maybe you'll have done God good if you had acted on false prophets. You failed. Don't try we true prophets. Rachel, be, you've been a chairman of fake revival. Tell your husband, we sleep and you wake up. God reveals to us stuff. You are courting judgment. Kenyans, I told you, those who voted Ruto, those who celebrated him, you shall cry for him. Because right now, the biting will increase. And I'm going to ask God for more judgment. Your state house, Aitakalika, Aitaka. I will take it upon myself to declare judgment on the regime. I'll ask God for more. Every, that entire task force, all that sat and uh, that's what you've come up with to assist Ruto to scatter the church of Jesus. To assist Ruto hmm, into muzzling revival. To assist Ruto into making sure that the church is silenced. That we prophets as myself who are critical of the government, that we are, we are muzzled. Each and, one, each and every one of you, I'll single you out in prayer plus your families. The plague that God shall bring upon you, you won't like it. We are not employed by the state. I'm not an employee of the state. I am a servant of God and my mandate born of God is to ensure that the word of God is propagated across Kenya and we shall be in Kenya after we shall be everywhere. In fact, our greatest interest is Ruto. This ministry will be the face of the republic. We shall be the face of the republic. And uh, Ruto just know, you leave, the report will gather that dust. Someone else will come to revise it. And I will anoint the next king. The same way Samuel anointed David. This ministry, this altar. I will, anoint, I will anoint the next king for Kenya. God told me, and uh, Raila Odinga missed it. So he missed it because he was the one I, should, I, would have, I was to anoint. But he missed it. So him and Ruto, let someone know that Ruto, even if you take Raila on your side, you, you are planning to have, I don't know, uh, government in place and try to give portfolios, AG, a peace, a peace uh, Nyanza, please. Those are games. And uh, we know. You may try by all tricks to hold on to power, but it is too late. Someone tell Ruto it is too late. You'll have asked me before. I'll have told you, but I've been speaking the truth you pretended and feigned ignorance. You will not stay in power. You will not stay in power. You may want to hear me on Friday because I'll have something new for you. And today I've come with the urgent prophetic alert to tell Ruto and your machinery and a session of church a clergy that are hyenas that are wolves those are foxes that you got yourself. Try to patch up something to oppose God. I am taking your report before God. God will answer with fire. We shall preach the Bible. We shall preach the word. We are no Muslims. We are no occultists. We are no fake. We are genuine and true. And someone tell Ruto and you are those foxes. God will cut you into size. And uh, let your NIS tell you who is Revelation Wisdom Ministries. 
And who is Onyango Makochiang? We are small, we look weak, and we can be despised. But in the realm of the spirit, your fake prophets must have told you. So for that reason, I would take it kiro kwa kanyagia. Hamuta toboa. Hamuta toboa. And someone tell this one to NSIS, pick it, take it to him. We are no happy. And I knew that I told you before what you are cooking and patching together, you gather from America, you gather from uh, Nigeria, you gather from South Africa. That which you've come up with as a report is actually uh, enmity to God. Kenya is not Rwanda. Kenya is not Rwanda. Tell Ruto, you may try to go Kagame's direction. Please, Kagame and his Rwandese, they are not Kenyans. Kenyans, we are, we are different. Uh, Rwanda is not a, is a secular state. <laughs> and they have made it obvious like that. So they started theirs that way. Someone, Ruto, be reminded that uh, God has remnants in Kenya. We are the remnants. We are the remnants. You shall not take the nation. That you have taken the church to the dogs. Don't touch remnants. Tutakukaranga na maombi. Tutakaranga nyingi na maombi. Munataka jua ama munataka mvua. Someone tell Ruto, which one do you want? You want a heavy rain or you want scorching sun? Elijah went, God took him to heaven. And uh, the anointing that was upon Elijah did not go to heaven. Someone took it. He was called Elijah. Elijah went to heaven. He, was, he died in the grave. He was buried there. His anointing did not go to heaven. It was double there. Maybe today it can be triple. We, we operate in the same anointing. I operate in the anointing of God. So, uh, Ruto, go think again. Which one do you want? You'll get yourself into a situation like David in uh, First Chronicles chapter number 21. You'll find yourself in a similar scenario where after following or heeding to satanic counsel, God comes visiting. Visiting with the judgment and uh, you are posed with three options. In the same manner that um, King David was faced with, um, with the options First Chronicles chapter 21. It's the same, same scenario that um, I declare over you, Ruto. You will choose of the three. Like also, David had to choose. Bible says there, Verse number nine. And the Lord spoke to God, David, here, saying, go and tell David, saying, that says the Lord. I offer you three things. Choose one of them for yourself that I may do it to you. So, Rutom, let's get into Bible study or you'll join me later. But this is the word for you. So, God came to David. So, God is one of those um, prophets that are uh, the seers uh, that um, uh, David had regard for. Say to him, that says the Lord, choose you for yourself. Uh, either three years of famine. That one already root is given. Wait for it. Or three months to be defeated by your fools with the sword. That is Gen Z. But the sword of your enemies and they'll overtake you. Or else, for three days, the sword of the Lord the plague in the land 
with the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the territory of Israel. That's the angel of wrath. Now consider what answer I should take back to him who sent me. David got himself into having the entire tree. I speak to Ruto and your house plus your regime. This one will not escape you. Because even as you are speaking, they are already happening. And you've just asked for more. Or uh, the breathing space that you had been allowed to breathe a little bit so that you, you try and uh, look like you are patching things up. Maybe even that, that, uh, that space now uh, should be taken away so that you no longer have grace period. I think you should get into a mode of being sleepless and restless. So they have no time to plan or think those things. Famine is striking the land. That one, I already said it. And uh, three months to be defeated by your foes. With the sword of your enemies overtaking you. What remains now is Gen Z doing their stuff. And uh, later on, appearing that it's obvious to control. Now, Rota, you are knocking and calling it faster than it should be. And uh, three days, uh, the sword of the Lord, and this is part of uh, plague number 10, which actually will send Ruto home, will send Ruto, cut you out of life. We don't fear the state. And we don't fear regime. And Ruto know that we don't fear. You, you are worse than Moi. I told Kenyans that uh, Ruto shall be worse than Moi. Moi tried dictating the church. He left it. Ruto wants to be smart. You want to outsmart Moi. Who to those who put you in power? Who want to those who voted you into power? Today, Kenya is worse now the threat is Kenya's church will not arise. The church of Kenya, remnants, God has prepared them. There shall be a new church. And there shall be a new church move. But meanwhile, look until Ruto you are done. Plus your regime. Your report, better take it and keep it for yourself. Those who actually ate the public's money to bring up a report that should help set and kill the church in Kenya. Actually, you are killing it. And every Sunday, Ruto carries a Bible. Your pastors who preach to you, I wonder which gospel did they preach to you? Caesar tried muzzling Jesus. Pilate tried. Herodotus tried. They could not. Even after Jesus died, he arose and went to heaven. His disciples remained behind. Only six men. Bible says that they turned the city upside down. Six fellows. Today we are a product of those six people's gospel. Someone pass it to Ruto unless you did not do history. We shall ask your teacher at Waren High School. We shall ask him. Was there not Mr. Mr. Mboya? Or in high school? Did you know Ruto do history? Did you not do history? If you forgot, we need to remind you. The move of God can never be stopped. Alexander tried it. Alexander the Great. He died at the age of 31. So Ruto... There are people you can try. We are prophets made of God's metal. We shall not take uh, nonsense that was to be peddled for the church of Jesus. We shall not. And for that one, I take your case to the courts of the heavens. You and your, uh, your, uh, your force, you call them task force, task with how to kill the church. There are churches you can kill. There are movements you cannot kill. We shall meet with you on Friday. 
between now and then, may the angels of God visit you to warn you to shove the way you shove financial bill. Financial bill was frustrated and it is dead. This task force thing also will die the same death. Uh, Manabi is a mimi stand. Mine, I'll just do for you the style of one prophet. You want to die on the altar. You want to die on the altar. Check the Bible. There was a king who died on the altar. God smote him. He died. This gospel has a cost of the blood of Jesus. I am fiery on the online and so you are targeting me. I'll be more fiery from UK, from USA, and maybe from Israel if you want it. But before then, God will show you that his word cannot be subject to any opposition. Someone, hallelujah. Someone, hallelujah. Let the IG, the AG, uh, whoever GG, to receive it. And state of spear, you have a controller or whatever. Receive it. We do no fear, but we cannot allow that someone bring criminality into the gospel of Jesus. That one, we say no. And I say no. I don't need pastors to we go on the street. Uh, maybe others will go. Mine are entire square to Nawewe, Kiroho. Baba we shie melele. Na kushukuru buwana, manawewe ni mungu. Si watumishi wako, miye mtumishi wako. Usuji buwana ukaruhusu, kazi lio ni hitia, ikapangiwa maofu. Tazama hao wana wanao panga kinyume. Kutumia serikali vibaya kama si wizi, sasa buwana ni kupinga injili. Naomba my Lord Jesus. Tumana utendekazi wa maleka zako, wenye utisho, pia buwana wenye maanga mizi. That will frustrate and disappoint these devices of the crafty that their hands will never perform their enterprises. Lord Jesus, may you have preeminence and the report that Lord has been, Lord, um, going to be published. Lord, this report is a report that wants to eat your church, that wants to eat your prophets, muzzle your prophets, so that the nation law will never have critics or a person that will voice the voice of God. He has succeeded to muzzle pastors. He has succeeded to muzzle the church. He has succeeded to muzzle the politicians. And Lord, Parliament and also judiciary, he has swallowed it. May Santola Kuria Babariba. Dalia Tola Kuntara. Ibra Baboraka Sika Malianto Kutaba. Mama Yantola Baba Ribra Katorika Sika Malianto Riba. Babla Tala Lamo Sintala Liantora. In the name of Jesus. May you Lord remember me and remember your church. In Jesus' name I pray.